This morning we're out here with Matt. Matt's running two T50s. We got about 300 acres of corn to do. Very nice flat fields. Got a couple power lines, but nothing too crazy. If you know what you're doing, you can get this stuff done pretty quick and easy. Messing up my connection. It is gonna be close. Hey guys, I'm Jason with New Way Ag. This morning we're out here with Matt. We got about 300 acres of corn to do. We're down here in Southern Ohio. Very nice flat fields. Got a couple power lines, but nothing too crazy. First day that Matt's out here with his rig. Should be a, a pretty good trainer day. Matt's running two T50s. He just got them a couple weeks ago. We'll see how it goes. How much are we spraying? Spraying two gallons an acre. Here, right here we have about 170 acres. We're gonna be flying about 32 feet per second. Swath is about 32 to 34 foot. We're gonna be about 10 to 12 foot above the crop. And that's optimal. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You want 34 or 32? Uh, let's do 34. 300 microns. Save. Good. Perfect. You're definitely going to run, run into a lot of situations like this where you have to go over top of the power line, the tree line, something like that. We're going to set our RTH to 98 feet, and I think that's going to get us over top of it, but we're going to watch as it flies over there yep. just to make sure. Yeah, just watch that that little thin line all the way at the top. I think it's going to be that's good. Yeah, you'll be all right. It is going to be close. Uh, a little bit. It just dropped over the back. I can see it right there, but it's just right over the crest. These 50s are great. We've done about almost 100 acres so far. An hour and 45 minutes for 100 acres. Pretty good. Well, we're still at it. We're on the last farm, or on the last field right now. We got almost 200 acres covered. It's about 1030. Matt's killing it out here. This is his first big job. I think he's doing great. Any issues or problem solving you had to do? No issues yet. Everything's pretty close by. We had some power lines they had to deal with, but over here, they're all high tension power lines. They're all high enough that we can fly underneath them. If you know what you're doing, you can get this stuff done pretty quick and easy. Matt, how you feeling? Good. Good. Feeling good. Any issues? Heavy. No problems? No issues. No problem solving yet? Nothing so far. It's actually gone very well. Drones are flying good, spraying good. Gas or anything else. Oh, look at that. Man. Let's go. How much nicer can this trailer get? What you need is having Gatorade just flow right out of this. That'd be legit. <laughs> If you guys have the new way trailer, this is just the absolute best way to run. So efficient, you can land, take off right up here. Batteries are right here. Everything's right where you need it. You definitely would not want to be working from the ground. If you can't see your drone, your remote probably is gonna disconnect. So if you're up higher, you can see over the crop. That's the way you want to do it. The workload is so much less. Having everything up here like this, you don't have to carry your batteries around. You don't have to drag 100 feet of hose out. It's the way to do it. If you want to be efficient, get a bunch of acres covered, get this trailer, get some T50s, you'll be able to get a lot of stuff done. So we're just wrapping up here. Matt's got probably about 10 acres left to do. I'm gonna head up the road, talk to another farmer and get those fields lined up. And Matt's gonna head up that way as soon as he gets done here. Here we've done about 220 acres total so far. We're gonna head up the road and do another 110. We'll see you on the next one. How you feeling, Matt? Good. 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 I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> never, never better.